Greetings from the Morton Chamber of Commerce. Leanne Brown here as Executive Director of the Morton Chamber of Commerce. Thrilled to be celebrating National Pumpkin Day. And what better way to celebrate that to honor and recognize our Morton Pumpkin Festival for our mission of gather and give back. So today we're gonna to celebrate on National Pumpkin Day the many people that come out and help us host a incredible Morton Pumpkin Festival. This year, our 57th Farm and Pumpkins Festival harvested a successful, fun, and impactful year. And today we are recognizing the many people, groups, and organizations that came out to help us host with a give back to their organization. So thank you to all the volunteers, all the groups that gave their time, effort, and energy to help us harvest a 57th Morton Pumpkin Festival, Farm and Pumpkins. This year we were able to support a give back to 40 groups and just shy of $50,000. So thank you again to our corporate Nestle Libby sponsor and helping us to show up and celebrate the Morton Pumpkin Festival. Thank you for being there to harvest the fun with us and we look forward to seeing you next year. But today, let's come together and celebrate National Pumpkin Day and honor our festival give back. Thanks for tuning in. Hi, my name is Janice Yoder and I am the owner of Adore Bridal and Specialty here in Morton, Illinois. And we are so excited to be the sponsors of this year's Pumpkin Festival Give Back. And I think this is an amazing thing. This is an amazing town with an amazing foundation, with an amazing festival that we put on every year. And this year those funds are given back into the community. We can't wait to be a part of it. We hope that you're going to be a part of it as well. It's going to be a great event. Hi, I'm Kate Popovic-Goss, head coach of Bradley Women's Basketball. Our team volunteered this year at the Morton Pumpkin Festival. One of our goals as an organization is to immerse ourselves in the Peoria community and the surrounding areas. Obviously, the Pumpkin Festival provided a great opportunity for our team to do just that. We were serving food this year, and our girls had a blast just interacting with fans and being able to serve the community. We absolutely loved everything that it embodied and our girls ate very well too, so that was a big bonus. Um, but one of our goals as an organization is obviously to serve, but also get to know the community. It was an added bonus that obviously for our time we were able to receive some funding and that benefits our program as well. As much as we're looking to serve, one of the things that we have to do as a program is fundraise ourselves. We love the fact that this was a mutually beneficial experience. That's not always the goal of our service, but it worked out great and we will be returning turning next year. I know our girls will be asking to come back for some of the foods and the goodies. So um, we're just so grateful for the experience, the partnership, and we also look forward to getting some people at our Bradley home game. So go Braves. Uh, my name is Jonathan Hendricks. I am one of two Morton FFA advisors. This year we were selected for the Morton Pumpkin Festival Give Back program. The big thing we're going to use this program for is to better our students, not only in our classrooms, but also better prepare them for our competitions. Part of the feedback program was going to go to buying FFA jackets for members to dress up when we go to national and state convention, as well as certain competitions, as well as practice pieces for them to better understand um, different soil structures and things like that when we do our soil competition. One of the biggest things that's going to help uh, with our classroom is not only t a TV to help in the shop with uh, tearing apart engines and putting them back together, but also a electrical kit that will allow students to safely wire and diagnose problems without having to use live electricity. On behalf of the Morton FFA, I would like to thank the Morton Chamber of Commerce and the Morton Pumpkin Festival for giving us this opportunity. Hi, I'm Nick Esser. I'm the co-chair of the Sweet Shop at the Morton Pumpkin Festival. Uh, my co-chair and I, Maria Warner, we have co-chaired the Sweet Shop for a number of years and you know, choose to volunteer because one, we live and work in a, in a community. Um, on behalf of the chamber and all the chair of the festival, we appreciate the volunteers we get every year. Uh, the festival is a seven day commitment for a lot of the co-chairs and we could not make this happen without all the great volunteers, in particular the groups that come back every year and volunteer multiple shifts. The icing on the cake is obviously the give back that these organizations get, but with, uh, without their help, the festival would not happen. 
Hi, I'm Jamie Durrell, President and CEO of TCRC. TCRC is one of the largest nonprofits in Tazewell County, and our funding is so diversified, we rely on a lot of funding from different locations. Uh, the Pumpkin Festival Partnership is very important to us. Um, we serve over 500 individuals a year in our many different programs. The funding from the Pumpkin Festival allows us to continue that great work we do with people with developmental disabilities. We have a lot of people working in the community, a lot of people living in the community, um, and the community give back that the Pumpkin Festival does just embraces our mission of uh, caring for special people. TCRC's tagline is supporting a life of choice. To get funding and to have a partnership with Morton Pumpkin Festival continues to allow us to support that life of choice for everyone that we support. TCRC chairs the Pumpkins and Pals Day. We also chair the Pancake Breakfast and our We Care program um, also chairs the Precious Baby Contest. Continued thanks year after year to the Pumpkin Festival for your uh, support and um, the partnership that TCRC has. My name is Greg Saunders. I'm Grant Saunders. My name is Joshua Saunders. I'm the Scout Master for Troop 178 here in Morton. And we handled the waste management for the Pumpkin Festival, something we've done for over 20 years. And the money that we are receiving back for that will go to pay for gear and help us do additional activities for our troops. And we'd like to thank the Morton Chamber of Commerce for giving us this opportunity. We love working with you and we look forward to doing so for many years in the future. I'm Austin Sanford and this is my wife, Emma Sanford. I am a financial advisor with Edward Jones in the area. We recently relocated back to Morton. I'm originally from here. My maiden name is Zern. So I, I have family in town and we are excited to be back. So we've volunteered over the years, you know, coming back a little early for the festival. I know my dad, he um, is a cash captain, so he always is looking for volunteers. <laughs> so we are always eager to uh, jump in and help where we're needed. So it's been fun coming back. But then this year being here and living here for our first pumpkin festival together has been fun. And then having the opportunity to volunteer a few nights during the week. We volunteered in the past at the Pumpkin Festival, not as Morton residents, but this year was special for us because we got to do it as actual residents of Morton. And we were able to see people in the community and actually feel like a part of the community. And the best part about doing it and volunteering, we did the, the grill, we were cashiers. We really like doing that job, but the best part is you get to know so many people in the community and you get to give back to the community that we feel like has given so much to us already. So we really love uh, volunteering at the Pumpkin Festival and encourage anyone, if you're looking for a way to get involved in the community, it's you know, our biggest festival, our biggest event of the year, so it's a great way to meet people and get involved in the community. And an easy way to get involved too. Yeah.